Wow, look. I found this place. Well, actually, Anastasia and I found it a couple of days ago. And it's super cool. It has so many, like, open windows. And so even though Bali is always hot, I just need a better angle. It's also bright. Um, this is a good wind flow, um, air flow. Wind flow, air flow. It's nice. Um, that's good. That's good light. There we go. Um, Anastasia and I are going on a four day trip tomorrow to kind of just explore the island, go to a couple of places, go to some waterfalls. I've not yet been to one waterfall, have I? No. I haven't been to a single waterfall since I've been in Bali for now, well, five months actually. For five months I've been in Bali and I've not gone to a waterfall. And um, I actually two days ago made the decision to kind of like actively enjoy, like really enjoy the last couple of days in, uh, in Bali because um, I mean, I've, I've only worked and uh, now we're all kind of in this, in this mind space where we're just counting the days, you know, Anastasia, I, Ricky, Jay, we're all just like, okay, let's leave this island finally and go back to Europe and, and, and civilization and all of these things. And, and I realized that that's stupid, you know, like, I mean, that's just a waste because obviously I'm going to go and I'm going to leave and I'm really looking forward to being in Germany and being in Europe and seeing my family. But it would be a waste if I would not at least enjoy these last couple of days. So that's my goal for these last couple of days, you know, work some stuff, work on some stuff that really excites me that I'm excited about working on um, and then just, you know, Grab breakfast with Anastasia. Later today, we're gonna grab dinner with the boys, with Nicholas and Jay, and hopefully Ricky. And um, and um, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna go on a four-day trip. Basically, the last thing that we're gonna do before we fly back to Germany. And um, sometimes it's so easy to kind of get lost in the routine, and that's that's a conversation I had with Anastasia this morning. It's like. How do you, after you, you know, you establish your routine, still keep your curiosity and, and, you know, exploration and seeing new things? Because, like, that's what happens, right? I realize I want routine and I want to live at a certain place, Berlin, for now, and just stay there for a bit and, like, find the gym that I'm going to go to every day and find the place that I'm going to work out of every day that has good Wi-Fi and, you know, all of these things. and find the places where we're gonna go to eat and and buy groceries and find a place to live and just stay there and not constantly look for the next place and um, because that allows me to like focus on the things that I actually want to focus on like you know project 33 and and other other projects that I want to explore but then the question is okay once you establish your routine it well, it becomes routine, right? It's like doing the same thing over and over and over again. It's like, you're gonna see the same people, you're gonna see the same places, you're gonna work out of the same place, you're gonna have the same commute every single day, you're gonna eat the same kind of food, similarly, at least. Um, you get familiar with like the places around you and how things work. You go to the same gym every time. And like, how do you retain like not becoming bored or you know, dull, 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 like with a dull mind, like how can you still see the new and the familiar? And I think that's a trick. Like how do you see like the new things in the things that you've already seen, right? Like if you have the same commute every single day, thank you so much. Um, like there's still new stuff, like you're still gonna like have random new people, right? Like even if you have the same route in the train to work every single day, like you're gonna be sitting with different people every day and you're gonna be around different people and you can have different kinds of conversation you can observe different things you know you can obviously go to different restaurants in your own city you can be a tourist in your own city like when i was in new york city like there were so many things that i never did i never went to the statue of liberty i never went to top of the rocks i never went to any of the museums or any of that stuff because you're like I'm not a tourist like why should I do all of these things that tourists do in New York I live here but it's like why not be a tourist in your own city like go to these places explore your own city there's so much you know explore new coffee shops anyway that's just a thought I had and now oh my god look at this beauty 
What a coffee. So beautiful. Gonna drink that now and see you tomorrow and peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up.